All right, what's going on, everybody? So yesterday we got the bad news in regards to Cyberpunk 2077 being delayed to December. And I know that a lot of people are fed up. A lot of people are angry and frustrated. People were in their feelings. Like I understand that people were very much pissed off and have had it up to here with CD Projekt Red. They feel lied to. They feel bamboozled and, and cheated out of their money for like the pre-order and everything like that. I understand that people, you know, I've seen the tweet. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen tweets of people saying that they took off work because they thought that the game was going to be coming out that day. So they thought that they could spend the next few days just getting, getting immersed in, in uh, getting immersed in the cyberpunk world and everything. People were really looking forward to that November date. And so like, I understand, believe me, I understand that, uh, yeah, like, I understand that you're mad, but one thing that I did not cover in my video talking about the Cyberpunk 2077 delay yesterday was the fact that the developer was getting death threats. This makes, what, the second, or maybe, it's probably not even the second, but I think this is, like, the, it's, it's at least the second or third time, it's probably not the second, but... This has happened multiple times this year uh, when it comes to developers getting death threats. So you guys, some of you guys might not remember, but not too long ago, uh, uh, Naughty Dog was getting was getting death threats over The Last of Us Two because of uh, because of what happened in that in that game. I'm not going to spoil it for the people that want to play it, but because of what happened in that game and uh, what they were so, I want to be I want to be careful. So what they what they allegedly was uh, doing with like their uh, their employees, they weren't paying their employees, which I guess turned out to be false. But Naughty Dog ended up getting threats, and then now we got CD Projekt Red getting threats. And today I want to kind of share with you guys. Um, so first, I want to go over. Uh, I want to go over CD Projekt Red's official uh, statement on Twitter, and then I want to just talk about this this situation because this is. This is ridiculous. It, it honestly is ridiculous. But let's first go ahead and go over their uh, their official response, right? So I want to address one thing in regards to the Cyberpunk game delay. I understand you're feeling angry and disappointed and want to voice your opinion and want to voice your opinion about it. However, sending death threats to the developers is absolutely unacceptable and just wrong. We are just people just like you. And honestly, it's, listen, listen, guys, listen. And, and matter of fact, before I say something, before I say something, before I say something, I want to go ahead and show you another tweet. I want to show you uh, just somebody, and I'm, I'm sure there's worse tweets than this, but this is a tweet that somebody put out. So they said, just refunded my purchase. There is no point in buying a game when, it, when a dev who cannot keep their promise uh, uh, a dev who cannot keep their promise. When we were kids, we've learned a valuable lesson from the boy who cried wolf story. I don't think I'll buy buy uh, another game from this studio. Like I understand. Like listen, I understand. I know there's worse. I haven't seen all of the uh, death threat tweets, and I'm not gonna even try to dig them up because they're not really worth reading. And like I said, I understand this person's sentiment. I un I understand. I want to make it clear. Like I I understand. How people are feeling right now in terms of, you know, because I, I said this in my last video. Yeah. Yeah. They went back on a lot of things. Uh, CD Projekt Red went back on a lot of things that they said uh, during the course of the development of this game and everything. Like, there's no denying that. However, something that I cannot excuse, something that I, I don't accept, and something that I agree with CD Projekt Red and uh, this guy's tweet right here. Um... I agree that, yeah, you shouldn't be sending death threats to people. I, like, that's something that, that's a no-brainer. Like, like, why would you even do that? I honestly feel like, if possible, especially since it's through Twitter, I hope that they can somehow get, because this, this is what they really deserve. Like, all those people who are sending them death threats, CD Projekt Red should somehow, you know, get in contact with their ISP, you know, get in contact, do what they got to do with, with, with Twitter, get get their phone number, address, everything, and take them to court. 
You can't be sending death threats to people over a freaking video game. Listen. Listen, as consumers, like, I know some of y'all don't care. Some of y'all don't care about these people. Y'all don't care about their, their individual lives. I mean, it's clear when you're sending death threats. But you don't care about these people. But here's the thing. And I want to bring up a a comment that I, that I, uh, so there was a comment on my friend and fellow YouTuber, uh, Rex Sparks, his channel here. He did a rant about the, uh, about this fourth delay and somebody made a comment talking about the death threats. And I just want to bring up this comment and did my response to it because this is how I, how I really will feel about it. So first I want to read this person's comment. He says, Hey, to be honest, the threats against them, I don't care. They deserve all the hate and what they get. And what not that they get. I used to defend them so much, but I'm done keeping up. Oh, shoot. Sorry. But I'm done standing up for them. Just going to walk away and laugh. I'm not going to be politically correct about it. Because that's part of the problem. Just keeping it 100%. Karma can, can have them for all I care. This comment... It, if you think like that, if you're one of these people that are sending death threats that think the way that this idiot, and yeah, I'm going to call him an idiot, that think the way that this idiot thinks over a freaking, first of all, it's nothing about being politically correct. Let me correct you, dude. There's it's nothing about being politically correct. First of all, it's just, and, and he's talking about karma. Karma. So because they lied about a few things, because they went back on their word about the microtransactions, about not crunching. They deserve, oh yeah, and then also, you know, lying about, you know, the game went gold, and then and then somebody, and I'm sure you guys have seen the tweet, somebody wanted to confirm that, that the game wasn't going to get delayed, and then the next day we got that fourth delay, right? But because they went back on the word, because things changed throughout development, because they cut content, because microtransactions in the multiplayer when they say they're going to leave the greed to other people. Because of all of that, they deserve death threats. They deserve... Like, here's the thing which y'all don't understand. And, and I'm going to read my comment in, in a second here. So, let me go ahead and just read my comment and then I'm going to say what I got to say. So, here's what I said. I said, no one, and I repeat no one, deserves to be harassed or threatened over a dang video game. As a matter of fact, I don't even need to read the rest of this because I, I, I know... I can just say it right off the cuff. No one deserves to be harassed for a dang video game. Listen, it's just video games. If Cyberpunk gets gets delayed again, God forbid, or canceled, guess what? You're not going to spontaneously combust. You're not going to go crazy, go mad. Well, then again, some of you guys have already gone crazy and gone mad because you're sending death threats and acting real extra when you really don't need to. But understand, the world is going to keep turning. A video game, one video game, is not going to, like, it, it, is, it is so minute, it is so small, and all the concerns and all the things happening right now in the world, such as COVID, and people care about, I don't care about this election, but people care about it, like, all these things happening, people getting killed on, on, on the street for all, for, like, no, no reason at all, all this stuff going on. In the world right now. People, people, you know, poverty and, and all this stuff. It's not that serious. In the grand scheme of things, it's video games. It's not that serious. These people have lives. These developers, I know that y'all, again, I know that y'all don't care about them. Y'all don't care about them. What you see is the company. What you see is the entity. But you have to understand, within that entity, there are still people. There are still people there that work hard. That are working hard. Regardless of what you might think about the game, about what you've seen so far, regardless of of what we might get as the end product, whether it whether it ends up being a buggy mess or whether it ends up being that great game that we all want it to be, regardless of all that, there's still people working hard. They have to manage nine versions of the game, and I'll get to that later. But they have to manage nine versions nine versions of the game. It's not like they're just making excuses. They gave you the reason as to why they had to delay it 21 days. They gave you the reason. The way that people are acting right now is very immature. 
If you're sending death threats to people, you deserve to be thrown in jail. They deserve, and I, I hope that CD Projekt Red, through through uh, Twitter and the ISP, doing whatever they got to do to really go go hard on these people that are that are sending them these threats. Because here's the thing that y'all don't understand. First of all, like I said, these people, they're, they're people. These developers are people. They have families. They have lives. They have people that care about them. Their life matters, number one. This video game, it don't, it does, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. At the end of the day, it's not going to matter. The people behind it, the people that did all the coding, the the actors behind it, everybody that, that put any effort toward this game, they matter. They matter more than this freaking video game. The video game could could get canceled right now. It could get canceled right now. But the world is going to still keep going. These people got to, like, yo, do y'all not understand? I think some of y'all need to really look up and really learn. Because I'm, I'm not going to pretend, and I, I should say this as a disclaimer, I'm not going to pretend to to be this, like, this uh, industry expert. Like, I know everything about video games and, and the development of it. But here's the thing. I have very limited experience working with, because, so, for like the past few years, I've been working on a, a indie game. I don't know if it's ever going to come out at, at this point with where I'm at in, in life right now. But I've been working on my own indie game and I've been I've been doing commission work for people. I use Game Maker. I know other studios, but you know, bigger studios, they're using big boy technology, you know, Unreal, uh, Unity, stuff like that. They're using other more powerful software. I can only imagine what they have to go through on a daily basis. Put yourself in their shoes. Put your, I know it's hard, but put yourself in their shoes. Look what they have to, just look what they have to contend with. First of all, they have shareholders. They have stakeholders that they have to please. There are people, there are people at the top that they have to please. First of all, I think if they could, they would delay it uh, again to spring, but they might not be able to. I think that all these delays, because they're really, I really feel like CD Projekt Red, they want to get this game out this year, if possible. That's why they had to swallow their pride and crunch. They had to go back on their word. They had to go back on their word because there were probably those stakeholders, there were probably their, those uh, shareholders. This game probably costs millions and millions and millions of dollars to make, and they want their return on investment. They want that return on investment. They want it sooner rather than later. So the developers, they're like, okay, well, we got nine different versions we, we got to do. And understand, because this is something that uh, CD Projekt Red had to clarify. And I don't know if it's in this article. It might not be. But they basically clarified uh, what the whole um, going gold thing is. I don't know if you guys under, uh, I don't know if you guys understand this, but going gold does not mean because here's the thing, going gold means, like, all that means is that, that the, uh, the disc is ready to be put into the store, they can ship it out, but they still got the patch stuff, they still working, they still working until the game gets released, they're still working on that patch. As they said in their official statement from, from, uh, from yesterday, and I could just pull this, uh, because they, they made two different statements. This is the first statement they made talking about the uh, the, the, the delay, the 21-day delay. This is the this is the first statement. But they made another statement clarifying, or maybe it was within this statement, but I know that they clarified the whole going gold thing and why they had to patch, you know, uh, the whole day zero patch thing and just clarifying the definition of going gold for, for those people that don't know you know, what that means. Like, y'all gotta understand, there's so much that they have to go through. And I, I know some people don't, I know some people don't care. It's like, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. You know, they're at this position of, of power and, and influence. Uh, and, and, like, some of y'all just don't, like, I understand that some of y'all just don't see these people as human beings. And apologies if I'm just kind of repeating myself here, but it, it it's, it's baffling to me. It's really baffling to me that there's some individuals out there that think 
so lowly of another human being and are just so caught up in their own uh, satisfaction at the end of the day that you don't think about. Because I, I know that it's a, it's a certain thing. I know it's something that we don't think about when we play video games. We're not thinking about all the people that made that video game. We only see Naughty Dog as this entity. We only see um, CD Projekt Red as these entities. But, like, I, I brought up... So, here's the thing. Because with Naughty Dog... With Naughty Dog and uh, Dumb getting those uh, those death threats earlier on in the year. Uh, I didn't mean to go to that. That was up anyway. But with Naughty Dog getting those delays earlier in the year. I mean, not delays. Uh, when they were getting those death threats earlier in the year. Uh, Neil, Neil Druckmann. I remember, I remember Neil Druckmann. Matter of fact, I can probably bring it up right now. The Naughty Dog death threats. You know, back when The Last of Us, like, before, I think it was, like, a little bit before The Last of Us, uh, The Last of Us got released or whatever, they were getting these death threats. They were getting death threats, uh, Neil Druckmann and, um, what was her face? Um, the voice of Abby, um, dang, what's her name? Uh, Laura Bailey. And I, I like Laura Bailey. But it's like... Y'all giving these people, like, death threats and stuff over a freaking video game. Y'all didn't like what they did with Joel. Like, I, I'm not a fan of what they did either. But you don't see me out here sending them death threats. Here it is. So, like, the voice actors were getting death threats. I know Laura Bailey did. I don't know if any if any, any of the other uh, voice actors did. But they probably did. Like, it just people, just harassment throughout. I don't know if this thing is going to load quick enough, but... Yeah, here it is. So Naughty Dog even got uh, they got death threats earlier on in in this year, and it's none of this none of this is acceptable. I I 100% agree with uh, CD Projekt Red's uh, statement. I mean, you might not like what Neil Druckmann did with The Last of Us. You might not like like I don't I don't really care for it. But you might not you might not care for that. And you might not like how uh, CD Projekt Red has been handling uh, the game, uh, Cyberpunk. But we just, we gotta, like, this community has to do better. These people online gotta do better. And honestly, if you're so pissed off about it, just don't buy it. I mean, I've already seen people saying, oh, I canceled my pre-order. I mean, that's the best way for you to, that's the best way for you to hurt these people. Not, not with death threats, not threatening their life. Hit them where it hurts. Hit their pockets. Because that's what these companies care about. If you see a developer do something, if you see a company do something that you don't like, don't support the product. But don't go after the developer's lives. Like, this is freaking stupid. And I apologize if it seems like this was just a, a long, a long-winded roundabout rant, but this needs, it needed to be said. It needed to be said. And here's the thing. There's, there's another question that I did want to ask before I go ahead and close this thing out. Do you think that they mismanaged this game? Because a part of me thinks so. A part of the problem is the fact that they had to uh, they had to well, they're basically having to uh, work on these nine different versions. They're working on a Stadia version. I didn't even know this game was coming out for Stadia. Nobody cares about Stadia. Who's playing Stadia? Get that crap the heck up out of here. They could have scrapped that. They could have scrapped that. Like the, like the Stadia version is like the equivalent of like the Wii U versions of all the games that were supposed to come out like last generation. Like nobody cares about Stadia. And then the thing is, so from what I read, and maybe I'm able to bring it up here. But from what I read, uh, Cyberpunk 27, 2077, uh, the game is working they have it working on the uh, next gen versions, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bring it up. I saw it somewhere though. Yeah, I probably won't be able to bring the article up, but essentially, the uh, the next gen versions are working. They have those working right now, but the current gen versions aren't working. I think what they should have done is actually worked on the current gen versions first. That way, P 
people and this this is not just me saying this because yeah i have a current gen console and i'm not getting a ps5 or an xbox series x anytime soon this isn't just me saying this you know out of bias but i'm saying they got the pc yeah and they got i believe they also have the the pc version also working too so they got the pc and the the xbox series x and the um the ps5 version they, they got those working they got the next gen versions working but I think it would have been smarter for them to actually do the current gen versions so that it can actually come out. Because then I feel like it, it would have, maybe it would have been able to come out on time. And then you can delay, because I think it would have been smarter for them to keep, if, if it was possible to keep that date, just keep it for the current gen consoles. And may, maybe it wasn't possible, but maybe keep it for the current gen consoles and then get that out. They should have been working on the current gen version first. That way they can get it out on that date, on the date that we were supposed to be getting it. And then, December 10th, then we can get the next gen. I think they should have done it that way. I honestly do. But I think that this this project is, it, it, it might be a bit mismanaged. And I think that they were overly ambitious. I, I said this in the uh, last video, but um, there was a lot of stuff that was scrapped. If you go look into it, there was a lot of stuff that was scrapped in, uh, that was scrapped for this game. So I, I feel like they were way too ambitious with this thing. And this was really a, it, it, it turned in, they said that it turned in to a next gen uh, project. But to be honest, with all the stuff that they were, uh, like with all the stuff that they were promising, it, it kind of, um, like with, with all the stuff that they were promising, it, it kind of felt like a next gen project from the get go. Like when you really think about it, in the grand scheme of things, it seemed like something that definitely needed to be only a next gen uh, game. But yeah, I think I've said enough. I think I've talked enough about this topic, so I won't talk about it again unless we get any other type of uh, news or anything like that. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I know this was a long winded video, but I just thought that I'd go ahead and address what needed to be addressed. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.